Rubbermaid Storage Shed Assembly Instructions Rubbermaid manufactures durable plastic items that range from kitchen food storage containers to outdoor lawn and garden sheds. Rubbermaid sheds are fade, weather, and dent resistant and should never need painting. The one-piece roof assembly resists water leaks, keeping your items dry and in good condition. The Rubbermaid shed also comes with a complete floor, which is an extra cost option in some other shed kits, although you need to purchase shelving for your shed separately. Things you'll need Rubber mallet Choose a site for your shed that is fairly level, as uneven ground will affect the functionality of the roof and door panels. Make sure your chosen site also has good drainage to avoid water intrusion into your shed during wet weather. Stand the roof panel and the right side wall panel on their sides next to each other. Align the tabs on the right side of the roof panel with the slots in the top of the side panel. Push the roof into the side panel until it snaps into place. Stand the left side wall panel on its side and align the tabs in the left side of the roof panel with the slots in the top of the panel. Push the roof into the panel until it snaps into place. Rotate the back wall panel so that the inside surface of the panel is facing upward. Slide the panel into the grooves on the lower side of each of the two side panels until it makes contact with the back of the roof panel. Push the back panel into the roof panel until it locks into place. Move the floor panel so that the inside surface of the panel is facing the roof. Slide the floor panel into the grooves in the bottom of each side panel. Push the panel down until it makes contact with the back wall. Wrap on the top edge of the floor panel until it locks into place. Stand the shed upright. Use a helper if necessary, as the shed may be too heavy for one person in its assembled state. Stand the right-hand door upright and push the upper hinge pin on the door into the hole in the right-hand side of the roof. Swing the bottom of the door into position until the bottom hinge pin is centered over the hole in the floor. Lower the door into place. Repeat the same procedure for the left-hand door.